Welcome to another edition of the Lone Star Review. I'm Jesse Williams and I'm joined today with Joey Hernandez. This past week, an 8th grade student attending the Fort Bend Independent School District outside of Houston, Texas was accused of trying to counterfeit money. The student had tried to pay for her lunch using a $2 bill given to her as a gift, but was sent for a reprimand when the cafeteria workers thought the bill was fake. The middle school she attended informed her that she could get into trouble with the law for using fake money to pay for her lunch. KTRK Houston reported that when she was seen by the school district's administrative staff and police department, the officers continued with the notion that the bill was fake. Tracing it back to a bank which informed the officers that the bill was indeed real currency. The issue highlights a serious issue within the education system of some Texas school districts and how punishment and charges against students are handled. Several investigations looking through previous incidents on file stated that there is not a clear connection between the students getting tagged for these forgery cases and that they are all minorities, as several reports do not have race or ethnicity marked. Students that await similar charges are often sent to an alternative school until the case closes, which some say is already a punishment for a student that hasn't been found guilty of any wrongdoing. This, of course, could lead to distrust between parents and local officials as it becomes perceptive that the punishment system is arbitrary in these matters. Students that are found guilty have felony charges on their records for their lives and have to return to court to get the charges expunged, which is not always guaranteed. North Korea conducted a fifth nuclear test since 2006 this week. This is the second in 2016. The first one was in January of this year. China and Japan opposed the test and the U.S. announced more sanctions for North Korea. The UN Security Council will meet behind closed doors to discuss this issue. North Korea protested the sanctions. They claim as a sovereign nation they have a right to self-defense and that includes testing nuclear arms. Miracle Mattress is under fire for an insensitive ad campaign regarding the 9-11 attacks on the Twin Towers. The sale being advertised was called the Twin Tower Sale in which every mattress that was being sold during the sale would be the cost of a twin-size mattress of that design. The ad showed employees falling into two towers of mattresses to knock them over. After knocking them over, the employees state the quote, We'll never forget. The owner, Mike Bonanno, wrote a letter which was posted to the company's Facebook page stating that the video was produced in San Antonio, Texas without the permission of management. Quote, the video is tasteless and an affront to the men and women who lost their lives on 9-11. Furthermore, it disrespects the families who lost their loved ones and continue to struggle with the pain of this tragedy every day of their lives. The commercial is seen as offensive due to the almost 3,000 people that died on September 11, 2001, when Al-Qaeda militants hijacked four planes, crashing two into the World Trade Center's Twin Towers, a third into the Pentagon, and a fourth into a field in Pennsylvania. Fox News reported that the United States and Russia announced early Saturday a breakthrough agreement on Syria that foresees a nationwide ceasefire starting early next week, following by an unlikely new military partnership between the rebel governments targeting the Islamic State and Al-Qaeda. John Kerry announced that this could reduce violence in the region. And on other news, the East Liverpool Police Department shared the following disturbing image of two adults passed out in a car high on heroin. Along them was a four-year-old in the back seat of the car who witnessed his two guardians high on heroin. People, if you're gonna do heroin, don't do it in your car. Just do it in your house when the kid is asleep if you're gonna be doing drugs. But the safest answer is just don't do any drugs at all with your kids. Just don't do heroin. It's bad for you. It's gonna kill you if you do it in excess. That's it for this edition of the Lone Star Review. Be sure to check out our other material here on YouTube.